All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You are listening on WKTJ, Reverence Radio. And it is November the 13th, 2020, a.k.a. Friday the 13th. And this is what is in your news. Donald Trump just had a press conference. And he said in that press conference that he will not deliver the vaccine that is due in April to New York State because the governor does not trust the administration and he will not take it himself. So until the state and the governor decide to authorize the the administration's distribution of the vaccine New York State will not receive the vaccine that is due once again in April the UK has Dominic coming and he just quit Downing Street Nineties country star, Texas native Doug Supernaw passes away after cancer battle. He was an American country music artist. After several years performing as a local musician throughout the state of Texas, he signed with BNA Records in 1993. He's now dead at 60 years of age. Following a battle with lung and bladder cancer. Melissa McCarthy apologizes for supporting charity with anti abortion history. We blew it. We made a mistake and we backed a charity that upon proper vetting stands for everything we are against. Wow. Okay. Joe Biden's education department will move fast to reverse Betsy DeVos's policies. The Biden administration has promised to drastically increase resources for public schools. This is from the Baltimore Sun. President-elect Joe R. Biden Jr. has presented an education agenda that is starkly different from what is currently in place, according to the New York Times. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer seeks to shut down Great Lakes oil pipeline. Line 5, shutdown order, heralded as enormous victory by pipeline opponents. Whitmer and DNR to terminate in Bridges Line 5 easement. It is a pretty big deal. I am from Michigan, and they've been talking about this for a very, very, very long time. And it does spill into the ocean, so, or the lake, I should say, and cause problems. Uh, 
All right, Kappa. Pi Kappa Phi fraternity. Kansas University expels Phi Pi Kappa Phi fraternity chapter over hazing and drug use. Wow. It was shut down the Pi Kappa Phi fraternity chapter on campus at the end of the semester. Yep, that hazing stuff, boy. A Detroit judge denies the request to stop election certification in Wayne County due to the fact that they have already shut down the Trump administration's request to stop counting and recount. A Detroit judge has ruled on Friday today against stopping the election certification process in Wayne County. Porter Wright remains mum on why it's pulling out of Trump's Pennsylvania lawsuit. Law firm Porter Wright has withdrawn from representing the Trump campaign. This is yet another firm that has bailed out on the Trump campaign. Wow. Harry Styles becomes Vogue's first solo male cover in 127 years. I have never seen a male on Vogue until now. This is awesome. So he's the very first man to be on Vogue's cover in 127 years. Harry Styles has done a host of achievements under his belt. He had just added one more. Wow. He's made history. Donnie Wahlberg left a $2,020 tip at a Cape Cod restaurant. Wow. That's more than generous. I wish you'd leave me a tip like that. That's awesome. Donnie Wahlberg leaves staggering tip for waitress at Cape Cod restaurant. He left a deserving waitress smiling. The Blue Bloods actor has gone viral for leaving an incredible generous tip. He believes this is part of a 2020 challenge, or tip challenge. Hashtag 2020 tip challenge. His lunch was only $35 and he left $2,020 as a tip. Amazing. Elon Musk tested positive for COVID-19. Means he likely can't attend SpaceX's astronaut launch on Sunday. Wow. Mark Zuckerberg defends his decision to keep Steve Bannon on Facebook after violent post. President Trump's former advisor suggested beheading two high-ranked officials as a warning. 
and Mark Zuckerberg defends not suspending Steve Bannon from Facebook. Rebuking Trump, DHS Cybersecurity Agency says no evidence of deleted, changed votes. Rebuking Trump, the Department of Homeland Security's Cybersecurity Agency says there is no evidence of this. Wow. Acting DHS Secretary refuses order to fire top security official. Election officials directly contradict Trump on voting system fraud. Over two dozen lawsuits have been filed disputing 2020 election vote counting and two recounts scheduled as of November 13th. Ballotpedia tracks them. China warns of action after Pompeo says Taiwan is not part of China. China calls Taiwan the most sensitive and important issue in its ties with the United States. Beijing is super peeved at Pompeo as Taiwan is not part of China, says Pompeo. The United States has played careful word games under several administrations to skirt around this issue, acknowledging Beijing's position that Taiwan is a part of them. U.S. to hold economic talks with Taiwan this month. China has been angered by greater U.S. support for Taiwan, including recent visits by Trump administration officials. And schools closed on Monday because Bill D. Blasio warns parents to prepare for school closures on Monday. New York City Major Bill D. Blasio cautions parents to prepare. So back to remote learning in New York City. Big study supports cheap combo pill to lower heart risk. Researchers say a cheat daily pill combining four cholesterol and blood pressure medicines taken lowers heart attacks and strokes. One pill could prevent heart attacks and strokes, but is it worth it? A big study supports cheap combo pill to lower heart risk. Researchers Say a cheat daily pill combining four cholesterol and blood pressure medicines taken with low dose aspirin can cut the heart, the, the risk of heart attacks and strokes. It's called the poly pill. I might need to take the poly pill. I like that. Okay, what in the world?
Here we go. Let's go. Let's do it. Come on. National Park Service faces $270 million Wong Fu death claim after incident at Arches National Park. The Indianapolis Star reports. A Denver man files wrongful death claim after his wife was decapitated by Utah Park Gate. Wow. Former President Obama says there's dangers to this. There's damage to this. Obama slams GOP for lining up behind Trump's fraud claims. The president's campaign has continued to mount legal challenges in several states. Obama says Republican allies obviously didn't think there was any fraud going on before Trump's claims. Obama says he's troubled that Republicans are backing Trump on his refusal to concede to Biden. And that is according to CBS News and the Cincinnati Inquirer. Twitter now mourns the death of Packers Notre Dame legend Paul Hornung. Pro Football Hall of Famer Paul Hornung died at the age of 84, says the Louisville Sports Commission. He is, according to Madison.com, a Lombardi legend. He was referred to as the Golden Boy, according to the Denver Post. New Atlantic Marine Sanctuary will be one of the world's largest. Whales, sharks, seals, tens of millions of seabirds, and just under 300 humans inhabit the small area. Georgia now <clears throat> has been called for Joe Biden. He is president elect Joe Biden becomes the first Democratic candidate to win Georgia since Clinton in 1992. And we are late, y'all. I'm sorry about this, and I know it's taking forever for me to do this, but we are behind schedule because of, I, I thought I had a special guest. I'm explaining this because you did not know, and while I'm saying this, this will be the last broadcast for a while on the radio station but not period. We will still have our podcast, but it will be broadcasted 
on YouTube and on Facebook and maybe even Instagram if I figure out how to do such a thing. So as of right now, look for our podcast on YouTube and on Facebook. And we shall continue with the news. More than 130 Secret Service officers are said to be infected with coronavirus or quarantining in the wake of Trump's campaigning wow thousands mourn the death of Belarus protester is in Europe and this is according to the Yahoo News and uh, Bloomberg on MSN Rutgers on MSN.com and US News and World reporting the 2020 Belarusian presidential election was held on Sunday the 9th of August 2020 early voting began on the 4th of August and ran until August 8th incumbent Alexander Luka Shinko or Shinko was re-elected to his sixth term in office with official results crediting him with 80% of the vote. Lukashenko has won every presidential election since 1994, with all but the first being labeled by international monitors as neither free nor fair. Microsoft says hackers backed by Russia and North Korea targeted COVID-19 vaccine makers. And that is according to TechCrunch. And they still are targeting, according to ABC, The Hill on MSN.com, and GeekWire. This group is called Fancy Bear. And they are a Russian cyber espionage group. But CrowdStrike has shut them down. All right, a few more. The Friends reunion has been pushed back to March. Of 2021. Australia scraps plans to allow foreign students to come back.
All right, Kim and G Marlins. is the Major League Baseball's first female general manager. Wow. He is now the general manager for the Miami Marlins. Wonder Woman. 1984, Warner Brothers Mall's January HBO Max release of or delay to summer. Let me say that one more time. Wonder Woman 1984, Warner Brothers Mall's January HBO Max release or delay to summer of 2021. Six weeks before, you're scheduled to come out. They change. So as soon as it ends up in theaters, it will go to HBO Max immediately after. Nissan. Okay, I can't say his name. G H O S N. Goshen's legal woes deepen as Nissan sues for $95 million in damages. He is the chairman, a co chairman of Nissan's Motors. Almost there, y'all. All right. ACDC has a new album out. The review came back. The only good thing about 2020 may be the new album of ACDC. Legendary Aussie rockers are back with Power Up, the latest album. In six years. Through decades, deaths, and disasters, ACDC keeps thundering on. 47 years along, and with the closest thing possible to the original lineup, the Rockers continue with their next album, Power Up. Wow. And we are... Continue it there because we're running out of time. I just want to make sure you all know that we are moving into our new building and we will return soon. So look for us on YouTube. WKTJ Reverence Radio on YouTube. And we will be there with our podcast, our videos, and any information you may need. This is your man DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. You're listening to WKTJ Reverence Radio. It is November 13, 2020. Be right back.